Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bird Guy Games. I'm your host, Bird Guy. And today, what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a trial run, a first part of the series, where I'm going to be showing you guys different board game stores. So in this first series, over the summer, I went to the Outer Banks, North Carolina on vacation. I'm sure a lot of you guys go there on vacation, know someone who goes there on vacation. But there, uh, there they have this game store called Flying Smiles Kites. So I just want to, in this video, I'm going to kind of go over what that store is like, what I like about that store, and I'll just let you know a little bit about that store. So right now, what you're watching is just some videos as we drove down into the Outer Banks. Uh, so now this store is, it is officially a kite store. That is the main thing they sell, but it's, uh, they also sell a lot of puzzles and games, which are, I really enjoy a lot of puzzles, and um, obviously I like games. But uh, we, we stumbled across this store by accident, and we've been going there uh, every year since we found it. Uh, the owners are very, very nice people. Uh, the store is a really, really nice store. It's uh, They carry a lot of really cool games, and also their kites there are incredible. You'll see those in just a few shots. But um, So yeah, this place is super cool. They have tons of games, super nice people there. It's great to stop by if you can. It is in the Corolla Light Town Center. Here's some footage of what it looks like on the inside of the store. So this kind of, you can see in this footage something I really like about this store is there are so many of their puzzles are just sitting out for you to mess with and try, which is super fun because you can figure out like what's interesting, what you want to get there. So uh, as you can see, there's a ton of kites along the ceilings and the walls of this store. There are just so many kites. They actually make a lot of kites there, and they also can repair kites. So if you break a kite while you're there at the beach, you can go there to get it fixed. Um, yeah, so it's a super cool store. They sell tons of really interesting games and puzzles. You'll see here in just a minute a game. Uh, it's just on that back wall. There looks like a little bit of a surfboard. It's the ring game. We have to like swing a ring onto the hook. Super fun. I messed with it there in the store. I've gotten pretty good at it, but that's super fun. Uh, so yeah, here you can see kind of their little, a bunch of their kites, and there's a little bit of a workbench there where they work on the kites. And you can see they got a ton of games and, like, puzzles, like, literal puzzles that you build. But then uh, you could probably see they had a lot of other games like the uh, Think Fun Rush Hour and a lot of the Think Fun puzzles, stuff like that. There's a really cool, like, building set, stuff like that. So here's what it looks like kind of around in the uh, Corolla Light Town Center. Uh, you can see it's Flying Smiles Kites, Puzzles and Games. So, uh... I hope you guys check out this store. It is a really, really cool place. I'll leave a link down to their website in the description so you guys can kind of go there and look and see what they carry. So now we're moving on to what I ended up getting there. I got these uh, these things called yu gi -Ers. They are laser-cut wooden um, little wooden models that you can put together. They kind of they're kind of like a puzzle, but they're not they're not necessarily a puzzle. They're a building kit. They're really well built really cool stuff the guy that works there owns the place actually should actually suggested these to me and i thought they looked really cool so you can see here i'm uh punching out all the pieces for uh their little race car i'm gonna build that what but what's super cool about these is um they have these gears in them these ones are the very simple versions they just have a set of two gears that spin kind of like almost little fidget toys almost but not necessarily uh the gears are connected to the uh with, to the wheels which is kind of cool so when you roll them it moves and uh when you spin the gear it moves the tire you can see there i'm using a wax candle to kind of um put that on the axles and wheels to help them slide a little better and reduce the friction the guy at the store suggested that to me and actually gave me a candle to do that with um i'm here at the beach house building them so yeah, I'll show you in just a second. I'll show you some of the pictures of the completed models. I got two sets. Each set had four of a minute. So I got a set of vehicles and a set of planes. I've built all the vehicles and one of the planes, and I haven't had time to build the other few planes. So you get, there you can see the race car, pretty cool race car. There's the trolley, and then you'll have a tractor and a truck, and then the airplane. So yeah, definitely though, this store is super cool. If you guys get a chance to go down there, check them out. Please check them out. It's such a cool store. I want to support them. And, uh, yeah, so I really hope you check out that store. Uh, it's a pretty great place. Really nice people. Really great stuff. They carry a lot of really interesting stuff. Just go ahead and check them out in the description or there if you can. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Ch I hope you check out that store. It's a great store. Uh, there's a link there. If you want to see another one of my videos from my channel, there's a previous one linked there. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video.